Thank you, Davis. The United States consumes more pornography than every other country in the world. But where does Tennessee stack up? State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien dives into the data as lawmakers are set to consider a new bill to require age verification for porn sites. And we do want to warn you, there are some aspects of this story that may not be suitable for children. There's a new bill in Tennessee set to require people to submit a photo of their ID to prove their age to access pornography sites. Laws don't keep up with technology. We already prevent children from accessing pornography in a tangible sense, like magazines and that sort of thing. The United States is by far the top consumer of pornography in the world. Where Tennessee sits in that consumption is a little more complicated because of the lack of data. Back in 2016, Tennessee had the eighth highest length of duration to the website Pornhub, but the site didn't release data about each state relative to actual daily traffic. But back in 2013, it ranked Tennessee 38th in site visits per capita. Of course, that was a decade ago, and this is only from one website. There are plenty of others. If you look at the data for Google Trends, essentially how many people are Googling the word porn, Tennessee was in the top five in 2013 when controlled for internet access, and is above the U.S. average in 2023. I would actually hope for that this would pass in the House 99 to nothing uh, and 33 to nothing in the Senate. I'm really hopeful that we would get bipartisan support. It might not be unanimous, but Signal Mountain Republican Representative Patsy Hazelwood will likely get support from some Democrats as the bill is currently constructed. I'm always for uh, legislation that complements not substitutes, but complements responsible parenting. Some critics tagged concerns over the bill, saying it restricts content harmful to minors. Republicans used similar wording for a law passed earlier this year to restrict drag performances. It's still tied up in court. But some Democrats tell me they're not concerned, because this new bill also gives a detailed list of outlawed content. So as it's currently built, it'll have some Democratic support. I'm always careful to look for amendments, especially last minute amendments, that change the whole nature of the bill. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Now, in other states where similar laws have been pushed or passed, Pornhub has retaliated by completely removing its website in those states. Chris did reach out to the site to see if they would consider a similar approach in Tennessee. As of yet, they have not responded.